Now back to Mark Lyons and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel, on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Tonight's nice BYU football game brought to you by America First, Utah's number one credit union. Join us and you'll be part of a winning financial team. Go to AmericaFirst.com for details and go Cougars. The one negative out of the first quarter was third down performance. One for four on third downs in the first 15 minutes. BYU doing well enough on downs one and two to have a 13 nothing lead after the first quarter. It is fourth and two beginning quarter number two and BYU will be punting it away. When your offense gets good enough for the, that they can use that third down you know and not worry about uh oh we have to make this many yards to get the first that's when your offense really becomes productive when you can rely on uh, calling anything you want on second down because you have enough confidence in your offense to use the third down to get the first BYU with 153 yards of total offense, second most in a first quarter this year. Their only better outing came against Hawaii at home. 153 yards for BYU on 61 rush and 92 pass. Five rush and 10 pass for only 15 yards. And Utah still without a first down. So no first quarter, first downs for the Utes who are headed to the Pac-12 championship game on Friday night. And BYU pacing mark for a game of 100-plus rushing yards, which, as we've talked about, is kind of an imperative if you want to, A, win any game, but especially try and beat Utah. Yeah, and uh, Matt Hadley's done a really nice job of getting up and getting through that first line of defense and uh, had a couple chances to break big runs. So uh, he's been... uh, you know, he's been a solid runner. Third down number has to come up, or at least you have to hope it doesn't hurt you tonight in a uh, in a in, yeah. in, in a in a damaging way that takes you out of a position from win to loss. Because one for four is not outstanding. Well, Utah only allows 32 percent, and you know that's not uh, unbelievable great, but 32 uh, percent in the third down conversions as a defense is pretty solid. Of course, if you keep Utah over, it's no sweat, and uh, Utah's <laughs> over three on third down. So BYU's playing even better defensively on third. It is now fourth, and Rhett Allman to punt it away, and it's a punt miscue that gave BYU its first points of the night. They had to score the touchdown, but they did on a short field. Britton Covey is back as Rhett Allman is ready to punt away from left to right. Now Cougars going left to right as they switch here in quarter at number two. A knee-high snap to Almond. Short, short wobbler, and Covey calls fair catch at the 26-yard line. BYU would like to have pinned Utah certainly inside the 20, if not inside the 10 there. And it's the 26-yard line for Utah. Not a good punt. Yeah, uh, that one got up this time, but uh, still at the distance, he's uh, he's been a little shorter lately on his kicking. 30 yards the punt for Rhett Allman. Field position game. Got to do better. Ball between the hashes. 26-yard line of Utah. Armand Schein is part of split backs with Jason Shelley. Covey the other back. Covey was a passing option. They fake to Shine. They keep for Shelley. And Shelley shoved out at the near sideline at the 30-yard line. Gain of four. Second down and six for Utah. Yeah, I... Uh... This is one of their plays that it's the only play I've seen them run out of that formation. And so uh, BYU also knows that as uh, Covey went in motion out of the backfield, it's supposed to be that quick pass out to him, and he gets the screen from the receivers. BYU pulls out nickel, goes back conventional, pistol now with Shine behind Shelley. They fake Covey on fly sweep. They hand off to Shine, and Shine is stopped after a gain of maybe a yard. Third down and three coming up. Red Sandlin on the tackle as BYU's got a player who has to leave the field. Kairos Tongo's helmet came Number off. Number 95 must remain out of the game for one play due to a helmet coming off. The spot, decent for Utah. Third down and three from the Utah 33. And again, Utah still without a first down. Without a third down conversion, 0 for 3 so far. BYU shows three wide D linemen. So showing a three drop eight, we'll see what they do on the snap. They're empty for Shelley. Looks to his right, dumps it off underneath, and it is caught for a first down by Damari Simpkins. First first down for Utah, and that's the cheer of the fans here in Salt Lake. Just made it by a yard. It was pretty close. Good defense. Now, pretty interesting that time as uh, Isaiah Kafusi was lined up out there on a wide receiver. The fans seeing a replay... Might have thought late hit. I'm not sure what the outcry was. Yeah, uh, the, the fans were hoping for a targeting on that targeting. call. Targeting. Well, there was a there was a play making the social round uh, me, social media rounds already from earlier in this game, showing an unflagged play that was uh, certainly had it been seen, grounds for 
unsportsmanlike or personal foul. As the handoff to Shine on first and 10 comes left from the 37 of the 40 and a bit. Second down, long seven coming up for Utah. Nice job of BYU pursuing this time as uh, they see the runs going to the left side and everybody's getting there. Kafusi's coming down the backside, slowing him up, and then uh, the pursuit is able to make the tackle for a short game. 40-yard line of Utah, 13.30 to go until halftime. BYU 13, Utah 0. Second and seven Utes at their own 40. Here we go. Ball near gonna, hash. He's going to throw a long one here. I can feel it. Tight trips left. A motion. Kelly behind the formation. Hand off to Shine. Shine's got blockers, but Taki Taki steps into them and forces back the pile after a gain of four. It'll be third down and three once again for Utah from the 43. That's a little surprising to me that Utah is really pounding it there. They're going to run, 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 and that's got to be their game plan. But uh, Shelley throws a pretty good football. Maybe he's concerned about the pressure that's been getting to him early. 51%, 51.5% completion this year for Utah for Shelley. Third down and four on the spot. Third down and four from the Utah 43. Empty for Jason Shelley. Trips to the right, twins left. Looks right, fires right, deep and right, and it is caught! 15-yard line dropped! It's dropped at the end of it! Jalen Dixon had it and couldn't haul it in mark. I thought he had it, and the ball comes to the ground. Just as the BYU defender went by, I think that he might have been able to just bump that ball away from him, or uh, he lost it on the way down. Uh, I was one play off on the long pass, wasn't it? <laughs> Kafusi yeah. running with Dixon. And credit the pass break up to Isaiah Kofusi. Dixon could not haul it in. Utah punts it away on fourth and four from the 43. Wisnowski. High to the far side. End over end. Fair catch called for and made by Michael Shelton. So the Utes get their first first down of this game. But Utah, BYU's defense stiffens and forced a long incompletion. Isaiah Kofusi having to run with that slot wide receiver all the way down the field. So Utah saw that on the previous down and then uh, Kofusi was out there at the wide out so then they said hey we got to throw it up to him. They did. Did yeah. bring it in and BYU now first down and 10 after this timeout. 13 nothing. Cougs lead the Utes 12-32 to go in the second quarter on the new skin BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Football on the new skin BYU Sports Network. 12.32 to go until halftime. It is BYU 13 and Utah 0. And Utah has punted away on four of four possessions. BYU football brought to you in part by Fillmore Spencer, Utah Valley's largest top-rated local law firm. They can play offense, defense, or provide a little coaching. Fillmore Spencer, solving problems and seizing opportunities for you, your family, and your business. Mitchell Jurgens joining us from field level. Mitch, what's up? Yeah, Isaiah Kafusi on that last play. Just uh, played an extraordinary uh, coverage of man coverage right there. He originally got beat off the line, but put his head down, caught up to the receiver, and put his hand just in time to break up that pass. Uh, just a great job of not giving up on the play and uh, making a big one for the Cougars. Mitchell Jurgens in the Zions Bank end zone. Zions Bank, we haven't forgotten who keeps us in business. Mitch, thank you as we come back in. First and 10 Cougs at their own 15-yard line. Zach Wilson, shotgun. Matt Hadley to his left. Bushman motions to tight end left. Hand off Hadley, middle. Again, slaloming his way upfield. And he gets a good four before he's forced back. They may spot him at three. Out to the 18 is all. Looked a little better than that, maybe by a yard. But either way, second down and seven now for BYU. And Matt Hadley's been the workhorse for the Cougs. Eight carries, 38 yards. No Lopini Katoa. No Squally Canada. We've seen both Hadley and Burt carry the ball. Burt, three for four yards. Aleva Hippo's also been used as a ball carrier twice. And Zach Wilson has gotten 20 yards on three carries. Zach in the gun. Claps the hands. Receives the belt high snap. Pulls it away from Hadley. Keeper for Wilson. Shoots a gap and he's coming down the near sideline. 30, 40, 50. It's a 31-yard gain for the quarterback, Zach Wilson. What a run. Well, say, great job of faking. You know, teams don't expect the quarterback to be the guy that's going to beat you on the run. But Wilson's got the speed and the legs to be able to do so. So he makes a good play fake, hands it to the running back in his belly. But as he gets to the edge, he splits two defenders, good blocking, and then he outruns those inside linebackers. It's a safety that has to come catch him. From midfield, first and 10, BYU. Zach now under center with Matt Hadley as the lone setback. Tight formation. Wings left and right. 
The right wing Simon motions to the left, back to the right. Hand off Hadley. Again, a sidestep. Deftly avoids the first tackle, but the second and third get him a yard or two upfield is all. Second down and eight coming up for BYU. BYU likes this formation there. It's a double wing, so they have two tight ends and they have two wing backs right by those tight ends, and they send one guy in motion, but they're favoring uh, running the football to the left side on that formation. Second and eight from the Utah 48. BYU 190 yards of offense to Utah's 33. Wilson Gunn trips left, single wide right. Hadley right hip. Empey the center. Delivers to Hadley. I mean to uh, Wilson. Takes it in his chest. And it's almost intercepted. Threw into double, almost triple coverage down the right sideline for Bushman. And in coverage on that play was Julian Blackman. Knocked it down. Pass break up to third down and eight for BYU at the Utah 48. That ends a string of four consecutive completions for Wilson. He's now seven for ten with two touchdowns. So BYU, if they don't move the chains here, will at least ideally pin Utah deep. Leading at 13-0. 10 to go till halftime. Zach Wilson looks toward the sideline on this frigid November night. A sold-out crowd. 57 consecutive sellouts here at Rice Eccles. Wilson shotgun. Hadley to his right. Doubles left and right. They shift Hadley to Wilson's left. Shotgun snap to Zach. Utah brings five. Zach steps up. It goes down. Back at the 45 of BYU. First sack of the night. Peter Tonga with the tackle for loss. The sack of Wilson and BYU punts it away. Uh, that is the first time they've brought pressure, Greg. Uh, all the other times they've got four guys. This time, though, they bring that uh, extra linebacker. And uh, as everybody's man-on-man blocking, I didn't see any loop stunts, but they uh, were able to get off of that blocker and get to Wilson. Almond has had two punts under 35 yards, a 32 and a 30. Got to go deeper here. Almond straight away. Best punt. Driver. Covey inside the 10 to the 8. On a run to the far sideline. He's got the edge. He's got the numbers. The 15, the 20 tackled there. Decent return from Covey to the 20-yard line. First down and 10, Utah. We stay with it with 9.50 to go till halftime. The best punt by Allman did give Covey some room to maneuver, but only out to the 20-yard line. So it's an 80-yard field facing the Utes who trail BYU by two scores. Shelley, 4 of 8, 14 yards is off. No Ute with multiple catches. And the leading receivers, Mariner, one for ten right now. One catch for ten yards. Armand Schein, five carries for 15. He's on the left hip of Shelley in the gun. First and ten Utes at their own 20. Ball, far hash. As they go right to left as we see it and you hear it. BYU shows three. Drops eight. Hand off Shine. Shine slips and falls under some duress right at the line of scrimmage. Running to the right. Rhett Sandlin was in the face of Shine. Second down and ten. With 9.40 to go in the second quarter of play. Kafusi standing tall over there. Kind of forced him up a little bit early. That last punt by Rhett Allman, by the way, 47 yards. His best of the night. BYU needed that at that time. 20-yard line. Second down and 10 for the Utes. Shine with Shelley. In motion, Cubby. And set him up on the left flat. As Shelley comes down the left sideline, it is incomplete. Samson Nakua reaching over. Diane Gomoliku cannot hold it in. Gomoliku on pass coverage. Nakua slow to get up. It's an incomplete pass. No flags. Third and ten Utes. And yeah, Nakua now limping off a little bit. Yep. You're right. He's hobbled. But it's something he's going to shake off. Yeah, he's got a stride back. Gomoliku gets there just as the ball does. And uh, people were thinking he was there early, but... Uh, well played. A couple of nice plays and pass coverage on deep balls. Kafusi and now Gonwoloku for pass breakups. Third and ten at Utah. The Utes are one for five on third down. Third and ten from their own 20. Shelley empty. Trips left. Twins right. Looks middle. Shuffling his feet. Looking, looking. He's got all kinds of time. Flag flies as the ball comes near side. It is caught at the 45-yard line by Solomon Enos. What is the flag? Well, it's going to be holding on BYU as uh, they had so much time back there. There was the three-man rush, and Utah just kept everything away. The defenders had to hold those receivers as they had so much time to be able to get downfield. They'll decline the penalty, take the result of the play, which is a completion to the 45-yard line. 25-yard gain, biggest play of the day for the Utes, and it was just nothing but time. Holding defense. That foul was declined. The result of the play is the first down. 
a penalty mattereth not there. It's the 45-yard line, first down and 10 for Utah. Yeah, just way too much time. Uh, BYU rushed three, dropped eight. They did cover well. They defended They defended quite well, but they just can't let them have that much time. Loaded pistol. Three backs joining Shelley. Shelley pulls it away from Covey, makes a hurdle at midfield, and has a first down. Hurdle the defender at midfield, and Utah's offense now gaining traction on a huge third down conversion. It was third and 10 from the 20. It went to the 45, and now Utah in BYU territory and the crowd alive for the first time since the opening moments. And also the first time they've been past the 50. Keenan Ellis got hurdled on the play, and the fans applaud the replay. 45-yard line of BYU. Shelley in the gun. Strength to the right. Option to the right to T.J. Green. Another first down for Utah. Big gain, a run of 11 yards to the right side of the 33 of BYU. Not only that, Greg, it was a broken play. That's the that hard way, part. Yeah, yeah that, uh, to see that uh, it was a broken play, but instead uh, BYU was not ready to defend that. So BYU's two-score lead. Looking a little more tenuous here as Utah's on a roll, and BYU takes timeout to settle their defense BYU down. BYU calls its first charge timeout of the first half. We'll take it. 8-18 to go until halftime. Utah gaining momentum. BYU 13, Utah 0 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Yes. You're listening to BYU Football on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here's Jason Shepard with a scoreboard update. Utah State is in Boise facing the Broncos. It is 10-7 Boise State. Excuse me. Yes, 10-7 Boise State with 13 and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Back to Rice Eccles Stadium and the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Of course, with the injury to UCF quarterback Milton McKenzie, teams like Utah State and Boise State are all wondering if that might be the uh, chink in the armor for UCF and should they lose their conference championship game. All of a sudden, the Mountain West Conference champs looking like a New Year's Six participant. So that outcome tonight is massive, depending on what UCF is able to do, minus their tremendous starting quarterback who suffered just a a gruesome injury last night. And uh, season ending and maybe worse relative to uh, what is ahead for him. Unfortunately, it was that bad. All right, as we come back in, it is first down and 10 Utah at the BYU 33. Tonight's game brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen has been helping Utah families for over 30 years. Shotgun splitbacks. Shelley pulls it away from the back, runs to the right. There's a hold on Utah. It should be a hold on Utah yeah. as he's tackled at the 30-yard line for a gain of three. This should come back to second and 20. Holding offense, number 69. 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Still first down. She just said, if I said second 20, I meant first and 20. First and 20 for Utah back at the 43-yard line now. Yeah, first penalty of the game against the Utes. That one was kind of right in the open field, so you kind of saw him pulling them down. and uh, Looked just like a wrestling move. Out of field goal range, which is saying something when you've got Matt Gay as a kicker. <laughs> Shelley shotgun with Devin Brumfield to his left. Wide receivers, two of them left. Single wide right. Shelley, play fake throws down the far side, under throws his intended receiver, incomplete. On the coverage of Brent Keithy was Brett Sandlin. So Sandlin was down the far sound, uh, five si- far sideline with the tight end Keithy and Shelley's now one for his last four through the air. Five for 11 on the night. Second down and 20 back at the U, U uh, rather the BYU 43 yard line. The other thing that's interesting, Greg, is that BYU's playing a lot of man-to-man coverage tonight against Utah and so far doing a pretty good job with it. Loaded pistol. Backs to either side of the quarterback. Rides it. Pulls it. And is dropped for a loss on the play. Isaiah Kafusi shooting in and throwing down Jason Shelley. We'll call that a Martin's collision repair. Collision of the game. Kafusi with oh. Shelley. Martin's collision repair for the right repair, the right paint, the right choice. Learn more at oh. martinscollision.com. And I think Mark's not happy with the spot. No, they spotted him four yards up. He, he was still running, but... Uh, uh, that play just looked out of time. They didn't look like they knew what they were doing. It was a confusion out there on the offense. Now Utah can still get into field goal range, but it is third down and 23 from the BYU 46. You just cannot let them convert. The line to gain is the 23-yard line of BYU. Shelley, shotgun. They motion. Covey, pressure from the right. He's hit. He's thrown down as the pause. Pass is complete near side. It is complete. No flag for a late hit on Shelley. It's complete. Well shy of the line to gain, but in position for a field goal of 52 yards. And they will try it. So Matt Gay will come on out and try a 52 or 53-yard field goal. And he's got seven career field goals of 50-plus. He missed last week from 56 in the snow in Boulder. 
This will be a 54-yarder by the spot. So from 54, and he's good from here. He has been this good in the past. Snap. Good hold. Deflection by BYU. It's a deflected kick. It rolls into the end zone. BYU will take over. Yeah, I think that was Kyrus Tonga getting his hand up, and, and he got that ball solid. Mitchell Jurgens with the sideline view of that field goal block. And so no points for the Utes, and timeout on the field. BYU stays in front 13 0. 6.47 to go till halftime here on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's head back to the Bryant Heating and Cooling Comfort broadcast booth and join the voice of the Cougars, Greg Rubel. Whether business, pleasure, a football game, basketball game, or the area's best attractions have brought you to Provo, we can't wait to see you on your next adventure at the Provo Courtyard by Marriott. Well, Utah's offense has been a bit of an adventure here in the first half. 88 yards is all of yardage to BYU's 183, and the Utes still without a point in this game. BYU 13 and Utah 0 our score. BYU taking over, 6.47 to go until halftime after a field goal miss and a field goal block of Matt Gay by Kyrus Tonga. Riley Burt now the running back with Zach Wilson shotgun. BYU from its own 36 going left to right from our vantage point here at Rice Eccles Stadium. The hand clap, the knee high snap, the pull away, the down and oh. in, and on the slant to show he makes the catch, but he fell down, lost his footing. A gain of only five mark when it could have been more. Yeah, he was going to wheel out of there. So uh, as he made that, you know, the defender starts closing down with you on the slant. And he was going to plant a foot and then turn back to the sideline. And I think that that defender would have been in a, a little bit of trouble to reach him before he got to the sideline. BYU huddled right at the ball. Yeah, I know. They've done that once before. It was on a short yardage play earlier. So the uh, play clock is down to 14. <laughs> and BYU's huddling. The Utah, the Utah players are leading are listening in. into it. Yeah, it's that close. They're actually leading their heads in. Four on the line for Utah. BYU's Zach Wilson under center with Burt, the lone setback. There's motion, there's a deep drop, there's a play fake, there's a throw to the right flat to Collie, who was the release foul, steps out of a tackle and makes the first down. On second and five, gain of seven. He was initially stopped shy of the marker, but he avoids the tackle and moves the chains for BYU. Dylan Collie on the chain mover. I think they wanted Shumway on that deep post, but there were two safeties that time for Utah, and he didn't have a chance to get it to him. Tight trips to the right, handoff Burton middle. Runs through an ankle tackle, gets into Utah territory at the 49. So a gain of a couple, second down and eight. BYU with 5.40 to go until halftime. And Burt is hobbled. Burt gets up limping. Just, Jogs to the sideline. Just barely, again, he just barely uh, gets tackled. He uh, looked like he was going to go through there cleanly, and uh, somebody grabs his leg before he picks it up. 5.20 to go till halftime. BYU 13, Utah 0. Zach Wilson steps to James Empey. The lone setback is Hadley with a heel motion. It's Simon on fly sweep. Micah turns back upfield at the hash marks, gets to the 44, setting up a third down and three on that short gain. So the line to gains the 41 of Utah. And, Mark, you get a first down here, you're going to get this thing probably closer to three minutes to go in the first yeah. half. No matter what you do, you take away Utah's opportunity to score before the break. The longer you hold the ball as they've got 4.45 to go before halftime. Third and three for BYU. They're only one for five on third downs. Zach throws right side. Complete. First down and more to Neil Pau. Big conversion on third. To the right, he finds Pau and BYU now two for six on third downs. Now Pau steps out also. War of attrition indeed this season for BYU. Who'll be left? Right on his thigh. <laughs> he got hit right on his thigh. 425. Clock once again rolls. First and 10 Cougs at the BYU third at, at the Utah 36. Wilson in shotgun position with Matt Hadley to his right by two yards. Doubles left and right. Ball near hash. Zach claps the hands, takes a chest high snap, pulls it away from Hadley. Throws to the far side. Ball tipped up in the air and incomplete. And that's the best possible result there because there was good coverage on Holker and the ball was batted up in the air, ultimately falls to the turf harmlessly for an incompletion. Second and 10 now at the Utah 36 for BYU. 4.08 to go until halftime. And pre-snap, it really looked like Holker was the guy to go to. And uh, 
he was able to, to just get to the sideline. The ball was thrown up just a little bit short, and the defender made a nice play, and Holker actually had to pull him away from the ball. Cody Barton was the defender. Double stacks left and right for Zach in the gun. Zach, pressure from his left. He throws. It is almost, oh, man, alive. Again, triple coverage and batted down incomplete. It'll be third down and ten. Bushman with three see, defenders around him. I'm telling you, see, Wilson throws a ball that's really hard to catch. <laughs> Because these Utah guys are it's going right through their hands. BYU no huddles at third down and 10 from the Utah 36. Quick snap to Zach. Zach looks, looks, pressure, coming to the right. He's going to keep it down the sideline. He's got a lot to go to get the first down, and he got there! He got there on third and 10. He runs for 12. Wouldn't go out of bounds. Kept it going and cuts it back inside. Mark, what a huge play by the freshman. Awesome play because... Uh, he doesn't have the first down. The only chance he has is to plant that right foot right at the sideline and turn it back in. He makes a good cut, oh. picks up those extra four yards. He gets rocked by Francis Bernard at the end of the play. Bernard using all means tonight to get after Wilson. Go to social media to see what I mean on that one. 24-yard line of Utah. Wilson under center. Hadley the lone setback. A motion Simon. They give on fly sweep to Micah. Micah trying to string it out. Loss on the play. Lost two or three running it left. And this time he does. Uh, he doesn't have any place to go inside, so he makes the smart decision to try to, instead of bowing to try and get away from that first tackler, he just hits it into the line and hits it into that tackler for the least amount of loss. To the 26-yard line. BYU second down, 12. BYU already passed 100 yards, rushing 108 on the night. Zach in shotgun. Bushman shifts, creating doubles left and right. Play fake, Hadley, pressure. Wilson gets away from it. Downfield again he goes, slides this time at the original line of scrimmage, 24-yard line. They mark him back at the 25. At least that one official does. To put it back at the 25-yard line. So it'll be third down and 11. Now, BYU's in scoring territory here. It'll be 42 yards from Southam if they get nothing here on third down. 2.25 to go until halftime. Of course, a first down here, massive as it would take BYU well toward halftime with the football. BYU has converted two of two on third and 10. This third and 11. I think a run here is a good choice. Wilson, shotgun with split backs, including a wing back. Snap to Zach. Takes his three-step. Steps up. Fires on the seam. Caught Holker at the one-yard line. He's down. First and goal, BYU. What a throw. Uh, Wilson is just unreal tonight. He's got a guy right in his face. They come with a lot of pressure. BYU bumps them but doesn't slow them down. And he throws a football over the top of one defender underneath the second. And Holker makes the catch. Almost the same play on which Bushman scored earlier in the game. Ball between the hashes. First and goal from the one. The BYU fans here at Rice-Eccles Stadium are being heard. 13 zip Cougs. 100 seconds to go until halftime. Got to convert here. Got to get six. Tight formation. Left and right. They motion Colley. They hand off Hadley. Hadley stopped for a loss. Keeps grinding, grinding, driving, driving the push. They don't quite get him to the plane. Oh, man alive. He's just (laughs) short, but he was short much farther back and kept driving. It'll be second and goal inside the one for BYU. Now you look at the clock, 115. BYU has two timeouts remaining. Utah playing their gap defense, and they're in every gap. When will they ever sneak Zach Wilson? Hand off. Oh, Hadley, to the Hadley right. stopped to the right. It'll be third and goal inside the one. He needed to be one more hole to the right. If he would have hit just one step wider to the right, he would have carried himself in. Third and goal from inside the one. 52 seconds to go until halftime. BYU 13, Utah 0. Got to get in. The game clock rolling down to 40 seconds. The play clock at 20 seconds. BYU two timeouts remaining. Wilson puts his players at the line. Hadley the lone setback. Zach behind Empey. Timeout. Kalani's run onto the field to get it. A lot of time went off. BYU takes its second of three timeouts. 32 seconds remain. BYU calls its second timeout of the half. Mark, we've seen BYU. Media timeout. We've seen BYU get into first and goals in deep situations and not get what they need. It's imperative to get what they need now. We'll take a break. We'll come back and get it to you. 32 seconds to go until halftime. BYU 13, Utah 0 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Listening to BYU football on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. 
So far this drive, 63 yards in 13 plays and 6.15 off the clock for BYU. It sets up a third down and goal from inside the one-yard line. BYU opened the game one of five on third downs. They're three for their last three, Mark. Yeah, that helps in this drive. When you Again, when you use third down to get first downs, it just makes such a difference. Now, uh, Utah in this gap defense, everybody gets as low as they can, and they just drive their head and shoulders into that gap in between the offensive linemen. So the offensive linemen have a hard time moving them anywhere because they're so low. The running back has to be able to pick a gap, turn sideways, and shoot himself through. Settling for three here, where they ha- would they have to, would be a two-score game. Touchdown, three-score game. 13-0. BYU, 32 seconds to go. Zach Wilson under center. Matt Hadley, the lone setback. Tight formation. Wide receivers as wing backs left and right. Motion. Handoff. Hadley to the plane. He's got in. there. There's no signal, but he got there. Touchdown. There it comes. Touchdown, BYU. And the Cougars take a 19-0 lead. Nice job by Hadley. He just hammers in there. And I thought his first hammer shot got him in but then he goes to the ground and he's still up to his waist in the end zone mark had to have it they got it had to have it 19 nothing pat for 20 skylar southam number 20 on for the try 25 seconds to go until halftime byu will have a halftime lead over utah Mitch Harris, the snapper. Gavin Fowler, the holder. There's your snap. There's your placement. Kick is on its way, and it is good. It is BYU 20 and Utah 0 as we stay right here with it. I talked about BYU as a front runner In the Kalani Sitake era, BYU, when leading at halftime, is 14-1. and one. When the Cougars lead by 14 or more at halftime, the margin, the margin is even more pronounced. You give BYU a big lead at the break, and they're going to be in great shape. Check this number out. Since 2005, BYU, when leading by 14 or more at halftime, is 51-1. 25 seconds to go until halftime. BYU 20, Utah 0. Total offense, BYU 247, Utah 88. First downs, BYU 13, Utah 4. Third down conversions, BYU now 5 for 9 on 4 in a row, by the way. Utah 2 for 7. When they were 1 of 4 or 1 of 5, Mark, we said the numbers got to come up. Just has to come up, and it has four straight third down conversions. You know, and that's the whole thing in that drive. Uh, The big play was the pass to, uh, was it Holker that made that catch? To the one. To the one-yard line. Yeah, on that third and 12 somewhere in there. Boy, that was uh, the play that did everything. So nothing weird late here. Mickelson will kick it off. Covey and Jameson Field back for Utah. All BYU so far. We're almost halfway home. Mickelson. The approach, the drive, and the kick into the end zone. Touchback. Utah will come out to the 25 with 25 seconds to go until halftime. We'll see what Kyle Whittingham's intent is here on this very first play. Yeah, that's the, the question. You, you got 25 seconds. You might try to hit a, a big play to get yourself an opportunity uh, for a field goal position or maybe even a score. How many timeouts does Utah have left? All three. Three. So first and ten Utes. Ball between their hashes at the 25-yard line. And it looks like a conservative victory kneel. Of course, victory is not nearly in sight for Utah. And the fans did voice their displeasure with that decision to end the half for Utah. So... No attempt to score. BYU scored 20 in the first half. Mitchell Jurgens down on the field. Coach, you got a 20-0 lead led behind true freshman quarterback Zach Wilson. Talk about his performance tonight. Hey, he's playing good. You know, we've had some close calls, but he keeps saying, hey, I want him to be aggressive, and, and, and uh, he's going he's gonna to get some in there, but uh, sometimes it's going to be a little bit of a mistake. But I believe in our team, and, and they want they have his back. So uh, I, I love the game plan so far. We just need to keep executing in the second half. Awesome. What's your overall assessment of the first half? How do you keep the momentum going into the second half? Oh, more of the same. More of the same. We, we have a lot of big plays that we missed out on. On defense, we're missing some sacks. We can get some TFLs and get some turnovers. But um, more than anything, we have to adjust. They're going to make some adjustments at halftime, and we have to adjust to that. So we, we just got to play a sound football fundamental and assignment sound.
have football and we'll be fine. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Mitchell Jurgens, Kalani Sitake. Halftime recap next. It is BYU 20, Utah 0 at the break on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Standing play, I thought, by BYU's defense to just uh, minimize any of the efforts made by Utah. And BYU's offense is putting points on the board. BYU starts this at uh, 10.55. They get a touchdown. BYU recovered a muffed punt by Utah at the Utah 33. And then BYU moves it to the 10-yard line where they ran this play for the score. Play fake for Wilson. A deep drop. Goes for the back right pylon of the end zone. He's got a touchdown to Neil Pau. And the Cougars open up on top. PAT was no good, uh, making the score 6 to nothing for BYU. The second touchdown uh, gets set up by a great catch and pass by, uh, well, great pass and a catch by Bushman. This is how this play got him to midfield. Wilson, shotgun, trips left. Utah almost jumped. Play fake. Zach down the far sideline, caught at the boundary for a first down inside the Utah 40 to the 38-yard line. Matt Bushman giving the 37. Great throw, fine catch, and the Cougars move the sticks into Utah territory. All the way to the 37-yard line. Well, Bushman's not through yet on this drive as uh, BYU moves it down to the 26-yard line, and we're able to execute this play. Motion Collie starts left, jukes back to the right. Play fake. Wilson on the seam, caught by Bushman. 10, 5, touchdown Cougars! Matt Bushman had to drag that tackler into the end zone for the score. PAT was good by Skyler Southam, making the score 13 to nothing for BYU in the first, ha- first quarter. So in the second quarter, uh, BYU, Utah does cross the 50-yard line in this, this particular quarter, and they attempt a 52-yard field goal, but BYU blocks it, taking away that scoring opportunity for Utah. Following that blocked field goal, BYU then moves 66 yards and was able to put their third touchdown on the board. There was a pass that set him up at the one-yard line that Wilson was able to hit Holker on this play. Wilson, shotgun with split backs, including a wing back. Snap to Zach. Takes his three-step. Steps up. Fires on the seam. Caught Holker at the one-yard line. He's down. First and goal, BYU. BYU was four for four on third downs in this particular drive. And Utah holds them to third down on this possession also. But they still are able to get this play into the end zone on third and one. Motion. Handoff. Hadley to the plane. Got there. There's no signal, but he got there. Touchdown, there it comes! Touchdown, BYU! And the Cougars take a 19-0 lead. Took a while to realize it, apparently. Yeah, I know. We can see it from way up here. (laughs) And I'm glad that you called it, otherwise they might have let it go. (laughs) PAT, goodbye, Skyler Southam. It's 20 to nothing in favor of BYU at the end of the first half. Wow. Not that it was a perfect half, Mark. No. But pretty darn close to it when you consider the circumstances that, they've, that BYU's been in against this team. I will, I will note this relative to the whole perfection part. No turnovers, no penalties. Wow, when you, no when you, penalties When you too. do that and put up 250 in offense and 20 points against zero, it's not perfect. But in this kind of situation, it's awful dang good. Well, you have to anticipate that in the second half, Utah is going to do two things. One is they're going to be throwing the football more than they did in the first half. So BYU has to be prepared for that. And then secondly, I think they're going to bring more pressure against uh, Zach Wilson. So those are things that we'll look for in the second half. Okay, a couple of quick numbers here before we get you. uh, Jason Shepard and Cougar Halftime Live. Total offense, BYU 247 to Utah's 86. First downs, BYU 13, Utah 4. Third down conversions, BYU 5 for 9, Utah 2 for 7. Yards per play, BYU 5.7, Utah 3.6. Total plays, BYU almost doubled up Utah. 43 to 24. BYU, no turnovers as mentioned. BYU, no penalties as well. Zach Wilson, 11 for 16, 137. Two touchdowns, no picks. Passer rating 181.9, that will do. Zach Wilson was BYU's leading rusher. 7 for 57, an average of 8.1. Hadley, 12 for 42 and a touchdown. Neil Pau, 4 for 28 and a touchdown. Matt Bushman, 2 for 51 and a touchdown. For Utah, Shelley goes 6 of 12, 49 yards. Passer rating 84.3. Shine, 6 runs, only 15 yards. Solomon Enos, leading receiver, but on one reception for 25. Halftime score, BYU 20, Utah 0. Kalani's only lost once 
since he's been the head coach, been leading at halftime. His record is 14-1, leading at the break, and BYU is, folks, leading at the break. 20 to zip.